Hey guys, I'm Nikki Novak. I am here in the Fandango space at San Diego Comic Con with the Black Eyed Peas. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. We didn't even rehearse that. Good to see you guys. I see you. We kind of are color coordinated. I like this. Yeah. You're I like the. Up. <laughs> I really did. You have your own thing going on. You have your no, own I thing should, going I on. No, I should. I messed up. Sorry, no, guys. it's good. You guys usually we're on when it comes to the, the at this the, point. The connection. Do you guys like read each other's minds? Except Can you? for now. <laughs> <laughs> the little off. Uh, yeah, the little off what today. did you do last night? Um, had had some sake down at <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was. It was. It was amazing. So when I first heard you guys were here at Comic Con, I was like, they must be performing new music. And then I hear about Masters of the Sun. Yes. Graphic so, novel. This blows my mind that you guys did this with Marvel. So just tell us a little bit about it. So we've it. been working on Masters of the Sun for about uh, just a little under four years. And um, it was Taboo's idea once once we had like the prototype in our hand. Taboo said, hey, why don't we take it to Marvel? And my response to Tab was like, dude, there's no way that Marvel's going That's gonna... what we would all say in our minds. <laughs> like, like, I have an idea for a graphic novel or a character, and it would never happen. And I'm like, think about it, dude. When's the last time... Yeah. Marvel put out a graphic novel that didn't come from the Marvel Universe. So, so he was like, look, you never know. Let's take the meeting. So I went out, showed him the graphic novel and a whole bunch of other, you know, What's layers. What's the meeting like at Marvel, by the way? So I was a little nervous at first. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't think you would never get nervous at this point. I was nervous because, you know, we, we had all of our hard work for three and a half years at the time. Um, and we had a meeting. And the, the thing you get nervous about is, a no rejection and because you're going there with your hopes like wow hopefully they, they'll see the vision that we see we showed them this and a couple of other things that we don't want to mention that relates to this and they were literally blown away um, they love the story they're, they're new characters new superheroes but really the superheroes are just everyday people but there's a, there's a musical element too. Isn't that the main character like kind of like into hip hop? Or yeah, hip -hop so band? it's about it's about hip hop urban culture set in the '80s um, when gangs were feuding, um, conspiracy theories around you know government involvement would bring in uh, drugs and weapons into the hood. How else would you know military uh, ammunition end up in the hood anyhow? So it's about that um, and. A, a, a band of um, you know do-gooders, folks that want to take their city back, come and and, and battle this ancient alien shapeshifter that's responsible for so all the mayhem. Are any of you guys kind of in it? Like, are any of you no, kind of any of the this characters? Is not, no, but like it's a not version about, of it's yourself. It's a fictional story. No, okay, you know, but, it's not about but it's us based at all. on the the roots is, is hip hop culture. You know, because a lot a lot of the um, the illustration and the art is you know kind of inspired by graffiti. Um, us being hip hop connoisseurs and, and kids that grew up in the culture, we wanted to also uh, represent that as well. So when is there going to be a movie? Because I already see it. <laughs> I already hear the music. I know. But like... you know what's cool? What's cool is that it starts here at Comic Con with the graphic right, novel. Right. You know, as he as he mentioned, there's going to be so many different components that come along. Um, but we're excited because we're going to be at the Marvel booth signing today. Yeah. And we have a show tonight at Park, uh, which is going to be awesome. And Comic Con is always a great experience. Yeah, so. no, you've come a lot of times, yes, and you definitely. love it. So, what are your favorite Marvel characters or favorite Marvel movies to date, mm. besides the one you're on? My favorite Marvel character is Iron Man because here's Tony Stark, uh, a regular entrepreneur, business guy, who makes amazing technology and turns himself into this AI machine. So you can relate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you props. Yeah, yeah, I can see that being plausible. <laughs> what about you? I would say Red Wolf, which is a Native American uh, hero. You know, uh, they haven't made a movie or, or he hasn't really blown up as, as, as I hope it will in the future. But uh, I like pulling for him because he's, he's a hero to our communities. I like uh, recently I've seen uh, Spider-Man. Love and that movie. Actually, yeah. Spider-Man. Love it. It was really like good. The first, yeah, really good. One of it was my, really uh, good. Right, and I mean, it, you know, it varies, but I, I like Spider-Man right now. I like the innocence of, you know, being a kid, and you know, when you get a toy, you don't read the directions. You just open it up, and I like the fact that he had to learn and really learn the, the suit and and his powers. That's dope. Yeah. Have you, have you guys mentally written the music for this? If it happened, turns into a film, is it like? So there's a lot of layers to Masters of the Sun that, you know, there is music to this. 
Um, can't tell you how. I love the eyebrow raise. Right? There's definitely. Yeah. So there is <laughs> yeah. music to this. You guys so are up to the music for too. Sure. I could, I could tease the music. There is music to this. It's some of the most creative, you know, thought-provoking writing about the times because, yeah. like I said, we're scoring. We have scored this whole entire story. Can we story. hear any of it? Yeah, you'll be able to hear it like in now? 2017. <laughs> like now. Um, soon, Timber. Soon, Timber. Yeah, or, or November. Got it. So that's not now. Not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what? It, so I think it's the main character has like the ability. There's teleportation, mm -hmm. and there's also he has these glasses that he can read minds or read, look into somebody's. He can soul. look into the past, and um, 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 the, the glasses give him once again um, the hero master son gives these regular, you know, inner city kids um, some technology and they have to master the tool to be able to, you know, take back their city. Those glasses allow, you know, Zulu ecstasy into the past and evaporate and distinguish zombies. If you guys could go take, put the glasses on, go into your past, the past 20 years you guys have been together and relive a moment, what would it be? Oh, good question. Mm. Oh, go ahead. I would, it's like, it's like we already did it. Like there was a time where we were unsure on if this black IP thing would be something. Wow. So we already went back to that moment. I go visit that moment every day um, to tell my 18 year old self, my 20 year old self, my 22 year old self to keep pushing, you know, ignore the naysayers, ignore the cynics and the critics and those that we want you to fail. Surround yourself with friends, good friends, and keep the folks that have the same dream close to you. You know, so we I go back in my past all the time to, you know, whisper to the younger version of myself to keep pushing. Yeah, um, well the process of making this uh, the soundtrack from a master of the sun is going back to the essence of uh, uh, the roots of hip hop and and how exciting it was to just experiment. So that's what I would go back to. And which current Black Eyed Peas song do you think most suits this graphic novel? Current? Well, any, any of your songs. Songs that we've done in the past? I would yeah. say, um, and we all have a different answers, or maybe the same. Uh, I would say Where's the Love? I was going to say yeah, that Where's too. the Love? Where's yeah. the Love? Where's, where's the Love is the theme to this whole thing. Like mm -hmm. the same minds that wrote those lyrics, the same minds that, no, that's not the right music bed. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's pulsing, make, make sure that the emotion and the chord progression. Or even every lyric, like, no, let's change that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I feel the weight of the world. As in my soon shoulder. as I hear you guys say, Where's the love? I hear it in my head. Can we get like two seconds of it from you guys? I was about to do that. Will you do, do it? it? Will you sing it? it? I was about to say his rap. Go ahead, say like, his rap. Will you do it? Off. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, okay. um, I feel the weight of the world on my shoulder. shoulder. As I'm getting older, older. y'all, people get colder. colder. Most of us only care about money, money making. making. Selfishness got us following the, the wrong direction. direction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we'll end on that. Thank you so much for coming in. Great to see you. Thank you. Can't wait for the film. Oh, pick it up. Masters of the Sun at Amazon. Go to your local comic book store. It's there. Thank you, Marvel. Thank you, Damian Scott. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Polo. Thank you, Sarah, all the folks that helped make this a reality. Thank you, Eddie and the team at I Am Busy. Thank you, Triggers. Thank you, Pasha and Ernst for all the different layers. And thanks, I Am Plus, for making the Master of the Sun buttons. And thank you. And we'll see you in Hall H and, in a couple years. And thank years you to Comic Con. Sure. Today we're going to be at the Marvel booth. Ooh, and thank you, Marvel. Boom. What? Yeah. <laughs> How can you forget Marvel? Get that acceptance speech ready. <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thank you.